The district attorney in San Antonio has now dismissed all charges against a black jogger who was stopped and later detained by police, even though he was not the suspect they are looking for. His arrest, along with a body camera video, is renewing conversations about police brutality and also profiling. It is what we want to talk about today on Alive at Five. I'm Cheryl Preheim, along with Aisha Howard and Jennifer Bellamy. So Cheryl, we want to give you a quick rundown of how this all happened. Last week, two officers were dispatched after a woman reported her ex-husband strangled her. In the call, you hear the woman describe him as a black man in a green shirt. When officers asked if he had a beard, she responded, kinda. This leads to officers stopping 33-year-old Matthias Ometu. They ask several times for his name, but he refuses to tell them. They make some attempts to ask the victim more questions and see if Ometu is the person they're looking for. At one point, they ask to bring the victim to the scene to identify him, but she says she can't. That's when officers you see here decided to handcuff Ometu and put him in the car. The body camera video of the ride doesn't really give a clear picture of all what happened, but officers report it being kicked. You can also hear Ometu ask if he's being choked. One thing that was clear at the end is Ometu was not the man that they were looking for. People are not obligated to identify themselves to police during an encounter like this, but the DA says officers can detain someone until they are able to identify them. Today we heard from Ometu about how this affected him. I was yanked by an officer by my neck. My legs were twisted and contorted in awkward and uncomfortable positions. I felt each finger of the officers press into my throat. I was stripped naked, uh, I was exposed. I was exposed and I, I felt, I felt violated. Mr. Ometu was very emotional as he was talking about his experience, saying that he feels like because he is a black man, he was treated differently. He was roughed up and violated in, in that way, feeling like he was treated like he was guilty until they proved he was innocent instead of being innocent until proven guilty. And, and he was jogging, so I really thought immediately of the case of Ahmaud Arbery, who was shot and killed when he was just out on a jog in the middle of the day and a father and son said that they thought he just looked suspicious, Jennifer. Yeah, I think that brought that to mind for a lot of people. Many of you chiming in, letting us know what you think about this. And I was thinking what Myron said. He said uh, seeing a black guy in a green shirt is like uh, saying a suspect was a white guy in khaki shorts. You kind of need some more information before you uh, detain somebody and take their rights away. Even in journalism, guys, we couldn't go on TV with a comment or a description that vague. We have to have more because it's so general. Kim mm -hmm. Hang says with all the money police have at their disposal, they don't have a phone to just take a quick picture. And Andy says, I tell you, until some of these people talking about protesters put on black skin, I don't think they will ever understand. I was thinking about Renee Montgomery. She's a WNBA player who told me what she hopes is that everyone can understand this one point that until everybody's husbands, children, loved ones are treated the same in the exact same scenario, no matter what color their skin is, we have a problem that we have to face. And that's what Mr. Ometu is saying, that he feels like there is brutality and profiling at play here. I don't care how you slice it, guys. Here is the fact of the matter. This would not have happened if the description were different. And that is the reality that so many people have to get uncomfortable to be able to accept that, you know, I'm thinking about this and I have two older brothers that could have easily been my brother. They kind of have a beard. What is a kind of beard, right? Just mm -hmm. to speaking to Jennifer's point, it's so generalized and it's so vague and you can do a lineup of 10 black men walking down the street right now and they may kind of have a beard or have on a green shirt, especially, you know, that shade in the summertime. So it just wasn't enough information to be very interesting to see how this all plays out, especially given the way that he says he was mm -hmm. treated after the arrest. Right. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching Alive at Five. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Uncomfortable conversations we are definitely open to having with you. We'll see you back here this same time tomorrow. Thanks mm -hmm. for watching.